In this lesson, you learned that when two concepts are highly associated, they offer a response time benefit, which means that you'll answer faster uh, to one word when you're primed with a related word. There's less conceptual distances between associated words, uh, and thinking about one primes the other. This is the basis for the IAT. The IAT capitalizes on this phenomenon to elucidate biases that we have. But it's important to know that biases don't imply overt prejudice. Knowing your personal biases can actually help avoid overt prejudices. Uh, also, there are many different responses to the IAT, uh, some of which uh, would lead you to question the validity of the IAT, but the IAT has been scientifically validated uh, to be found to be valid and reliable. Also, the IAT uh, is not intended to promote uh, shame or um, feeling inadequate. Its uh, knowledge is the goal of the IAT. That's the end of this module. Uh, here's the references that were used in this module. Now, in the next module, you'll learn about unconscious bias, a related term.